there's another extremely hard hit area, Bowling Green, Kentucky, where an EF3 tornado tore through that community. That's right, 12 people confirmed dead there, including children, as our Gladys Bautista told us this morning. We are checking back in with her now. Gladys, good morning. Good morning, Julie and Carrie. Now we're just over 24 hours since this tornado ripped through here in Bowling Green. Right now we're in the Crestmore neighborhood. Sun is coming up and right now people are starting to really digest the magnitude of what happened here in this neighborhood that we're in. There are barely any homes standing. Most of them were crumbled to pieces. I just wanna give you guys a look at the bricks from this home that we're at right now. You can just tell how this home crumbled when this EF3 tornado ripped through here. Those winds, officials say, up to 155 miles an hour. We spoke to the homeowner here. His name is Philip Hinkle. Philip's car should be right here. He says this is where it was parked. As you can see, there's nothing here. We'll show you where Philip's car is now. It's over there. His car was tossed. As you can see, it's a big Ford truck. His wife's car, who he said is currently uh, in Spain visiting family behind his right there, tossed like toys. He says that he called his wife to let her know what happened. And she said, well, I'm coming home right now. And he told her there is no home to come back to. Now, of course, Philip Hinkle tells me that he is one of the lucky ones here. As we know, 12 people's uh, lost their lives during this tornado among them children we want to show you something else about philip's story when he was describing to me what happened as that tornado came through here he says that he was in bed he did not hear any of the alerts and he pointed out his headboard he says the roof came on to him while he was laying in bed here's what he had to say about what those moments were like i didn't know what happened i was just done you know i I was on my chest and I said, see, I couldn't get out of the bed. I was, you know, all that pressure on me. And I tried to kick with my feet and my hands and I finally got it off where I come out the backside there. And of course, I'm up one story and the neighbor, I yelled, yelled, and he come over with his ladder and helped me down out of the, out of the bedroom. And that is just one of the many stories that we're hearing about the people in these communities, their resilience, their strength, and really their camaraderie when this all happened and how they came together. And we're seeing that throughout all areas of Kentucky, but especially in these communities who were really affected by these tornadoes, those who have lost people about how they came together in those scary, scary moments.